Welcome to section 25 of viruses. This is our virus overview figure, and in this video, we'll be discussing hantavirus, which you can see right here. This scene will take place just outside of a haunted house. Haunted house sounds like hantavirus, which will be our symbol for this virus. Notice that we've used warm colors in this image to help you remember that it's an RNA virus. We've also shown some rain clouds off to the side of the house to help you remember that it's a negative sense virus. If you look at the left side of the house, you can see a helical shaped staircase, which is to help you remember that it has a helical shaped capsid. All right, now focus on the entrance to this haunted house. Notice that it's circular shaped, which is to help you remember that hantavirus has a circular shaped RNA structure. Now you can see that we've added two excited kids that are ready to go into this place. Let's zoom up on them so you can see the details better. Notice that the girl on the right has a candy bar in her hand. We introduced this symbol in the last two videos, and it's in this one as well to help you remember that hantavirus has three segments to its genome. If we look at her friend on the left, we can see that she's holding a hot dog bun in her hand. Bun is our symbol for bunyaviruses, so this should help you remember that hantavirus is a member of the bunyavirus family. Also notice that she's wearing a shirt of China on her back, and this is here to help you remember that hantavirus is more prevalent in China. All right, now notice that we've shown the gatekeeper to this haunted house. Let's also zoom up on him so you can see things better. First, notice that he's in a rodent costume. After all, this is a haunted house, so it makes sense that people are dressed up in interesting costumes. In any case, this costume should help you remember that hantavirus is transmitted through rodents. Next, notice that we've shown him holding a lamp, and he has blood on his teeth to make his costume appear extra scary. The lamp is our symbol for fever, and the blood on his teeth should make you think of hemorrhage. So putting these two ideas together should help you remember that hantavirus causes hemorrhagic fever. Hemorrhagic fever is exactly what it sounds like, a condition that causes a fever and damages the blood vessels, resulting in signs of hemorrhage. Damage to the superficial blood vessels could cause petechiae, or purpura, whereas damage to pulmonary vessels could result in pulmonary edema. And this is exactly what happens in patients with a hantavirus infection. There is a capillary leak into the pulmonary bed which may cause pulmonary edema, a cough, and other pulmonary signs. To help you remember these pulmonary symptoms, notice that we've shown the gatekeeper holding an ax that's shaped like a pair of lungs. So ax shaped like lungs for pulmonary disease. All right, now that we've covered the image, let's review with a question. A 36-year-old male presents to the physician due to shortness of breath. He states that his shortness of breath began earlier today, but approximately one week ago, he developed a fever, chills, and myalgias. He also mentions that he recently returned home from a trip to China where he lived in a house infested with rodents. This patient's condition is most likely due to a virus that has which of the following characteristics? A. RNA, three segments, circular. B. RNA, two segments, circular. C. RNA, 10 to 12 segments, linear. Or D. RNA, eight segments, linear. Okay, hopefully from the question stem you noticed that this patient had shortness of breath after a trip to China where he lived in a house infested with rodents. This triad of findings is highly suggestive of hantavirus, so the correct answer is A. RNA, three segments, circular. Recall from the image that the color schematic should help you remember that this is an RNA virus. The circular entrance right here should help you remember that the RNA structure is circular. And the chocolate bar with three segments right here should help you remember that there are three segments to the RNA. B is a reference to arenaviruses. Loss of fever encephalitis is an arenavirus that is spread by rodents but doesn't cause pulmonary symptoms. It causes encephalitis, so B is incorrect. C is referring to rheoviruses. However, these cause gastrointestinal symptoms and are not associated with rodent exposure, so C is incorrect. Finally, D is referring to influenza virus, which can cause pulmonary symptoms, but doesn't fit very well considering that this patient just visited China and was exposed to rodents, so D is incorrect. So again, the correct answer is A, RNA, three segments, circular. And with that, we've covered everything you need to know about hantavirus.